Hello, a little bit of warmth, a fair bit of rain, and a sprinkling of uncertainty. Well, if it isn't a classic Met Office 10-day trend, and this one will take us through the first full week of meteorological summer. Meteorological spring, the months of March, April, and May, has been remarkable. Incredibly dry, pretty warm, and the sunniest on record. And the reason for that was the position of the jet stream. Generally, it's been way up to the north, but it's shifted now. It has sunk back further south, and as a result, the weather's changed. It's been pushing low pressure systems our way. This one brought the rain through the course of the weekend, and eyes focused on this one now as it heads towards us for Thursday. Now, it is kind of sitting in the middle of the jet stream here, so that's just pushing it along. If it was a little further north, it would intensify a bit more and perhaps bring some livelier winds but it wouldn't take much to shift that, and uh, that is where the uncertainty lies. Certainly in the short term, more uncertainty than usual, just how the low develops and whether another low actually follows on behind. Now, this is the Met Office model, and the jet just pushes that low pretty much out of the way by the time we get to Friday morning, and a little ridge of high pressure builds in behind, bringing a few showers to Scotland, but uh, generally turning things drier here during Friday. If we take a look at the European model for the same time, first thing on Friday morning, Morning. Well, the low has cleared away, but it's actually developed another low in here, and that's keeping things pretty wet across Scotland. The rain is slower to clear as a result, and the ridge of high pressure is further behind. Now, as I say, quite a bit of uncertainty in the short term, and that is fairly unusual. In fact, it's one of those slightly counterintuitive situations where we have more confidence in the forecast for the weekend than in the shorter term, and that's what this graph is showing here. It's like a, a confidence-ometer, if you like. The average line is this one here, going from 1 or 100%, uh, and it tends to drift and dipped uh, down as you get further ahead in time. And the actual hash line, well, that's the confidence in the current forecast. And anything red is below the average, green is above the average. You can see here that in the short term, the next 36 hours, the confidence in the forecast is below average, and it actually goes up and is green and above average into the weekend. So we have, as I say, more confidence in the forecast for the weekend, perhaps, than we do in the shorter term. What is going to happen at the weekends? Well, that jet stream remains reasonably active. It's not, as you may have read in the press, a Caribbean jet stream. It is coming up from the Atlantic, but it is also allowing the isobars to draw up the air from the southwest. So these are the winds at the surface, southwesterly winds, and we may well tap into some real warmth from Iberia as we head into Friday and Saturday. So temperatures across the south, where it warms up on Friday could get to 24, 25, maybe even 26 degrees Celsius. And by the time we get to Saturday, well, that warmth extending further north across more parts of central and eastern England. So we'll see temperatures more widely over uh, 20 degrees and into the mid 20s across parts of eastern England. So it is warming up for some, but notice with the winds coming in from the west or the southwest, these western areas aren't going to be as warm. It'll still feel quite warm and humid, though, pretty much everywhere as we head towards the end of this week. But temperatures, as I say, quite a contrast. It is going to warm up, but only for some. Another way of looking at that is comparing the temperatures with the average for the middle of May. You can see above average across East Anglia in the southeast on Friday closer to average further north and further west. And it's a similar pattern on Saturday, but notice those higher than average temperatures becoming more widespread over the Midlands and eastern England for Saturday. So if we see some sunshine on Saturday, it really will feel quite warm in these eastern areas. But will we see the sunshine? Well, certainly not further west, where temperatures will be closer to average. We are expecting more cloud and more rain from another area of low pressure that will be heading in. This initial warm front bringing some showery rain, then this weather front swings through, and then we see another potential area of low pressure developing, bringing showery rain across the country during Sunday. Notice, though, the wettest conditions, most of the rain always closest to the low pressure, and not much rain. Uh, this weekend, getting to parts of the south. And uh, we can show that with the rainfall accumulations from the three uh, models that we use most, uh, the Met Office model behind me, the European model in the middle, and the American model, the GFS, here on this side. And you can see they're all in pretty much agreement. So this is, again, going back to that confidence in the forecast. Because the models are all agreeing pretty much about the rainfall pattern for the weekend, we, we're pretty happy with the way that the weekend is shaping up. This is the total rainfall fall through uh, Saturday and Sunday. The wettest conditions in Western Scotland in each of the models, and actually not much rain at all, if any, getting to parts of East Anglia 
and the southeast. So as I said, we're, we're pretty confident about what's going to happen through the weekends. Showery rain at times, uh, most persistent across the north and the west with parts of the south and east staying largely dry. Uh, what about beyond that? Well, that area of low pressure bringing the uh, wet weather through the weekend should be pulling away. And then we've got another little ridge, a little uh, bump in the isobars that may well bring many places uh, a dry day on Monday. Monday could be the driest day overall as we go through uh, next week. Still, there's the chance of some showers mixed in on Monday. But uh, generally, as I say, Monday with this little ridge of high pressure looking a little drier. Uh, but it may well not last because, as you can see behind me, more low pressure systems gathering out in the Atlantic. And again, if we take a look at the big picture and the winds high up with the jet stream, in a slightly different position now. It's starting to dip down more to the south. And you can see this uh, little dip here. We call this a trough. And in here, it's often where we see low pressure systems either developing or just kind of sitting around. Instead of the jet stream pushing lows through, Get a little dip like that, then you can keep low pressure systems uh, kind of becoming slow moving and sitting close to the UK. And that's likely what we'll see after a, a drier day on Monday, that low moving in and perhaps becoming slow moving close to the UK. Switch to the European model now and I'll switch the colours, but it's the same, showing the same thing, showing the pressure pattern in black here and the jet stream, those winds high in the sky uh, in yellow and orange. And you can see it just dipping down, generating that trough and just allowing that low to sit around rather than pushing it along. So low pressure likely to be close by to the UK through the middle of next week. This is uh, Tuesday night and into Wednesday. But the exact position of the low, well, that is open to quite a bit of uncertainty. As you'd expect, we're talking pretty much a week away. And this is the Dalmatian plot, the spotty plot that kind of helps to show that. This is again from the European model. The previous chart was the, the main model run, but we obviously don't just look at one computer model run. We use an ensemble and run the model many times. And each of these spots is a representative of where that low pressure system could be sitting. I've zoomed in here, but it's, it's no clearer. It's showing that that low could be northern, could be to the north of Scotland, or it could be down across the south of England. So the position of the low next week opens to quite a bit of uncertainty. But it's reasonable to suggest that low pressure is going to be pretty close by to the UK through the middle of next week, Tuesday and Wednesday in particular. And when low pressure is close by, that means the air is rising. That means we're going to see uh, cloud and showers. So, yes, looking pretty unsettled through the middle of next week. And this probability plot, which goes beyond the middle of next week and towards the following weekend and even beyond that. Well, this isn't what you want to see if you're after dry and sunny weather, because these dark blues are dominating. And those dark blues means that the winds will be continuing to come in from the west. And when the winds come in from the west, coming from the Atlantic, so they're bringing moisture and uh, plenty of showers, particularly so into western areas. Now, as we go towards the back end of next week, the, uh, there's a staggering of the steps, if you like, and those dark blue colours do tend to uh, dip down a little bit. So we may start to see a slightly different flavour of weather, but don't get too excited because those light blues are just kind of southwest of you and still low pressure dominant, generally speaking. But we are likely perhaps to see a hint of a change as we go towards the end of next week. So the most likely setup is for low pressure cl close by to the UK on on Wednesday, a cyclonic setup with west or southwesterly winds. And this is showing the rainfall anomaly, so how much more uh, wet than average it's likely to be with those darker blues situated across Wales, northwest England. So in this setup, which is the, the most likely uh, pressure setup, over a third of the models suggesting this uh, setup, which would keep the western half of the UK wetter, but generally it is going to be wetter than average across the whole of the UK through Wednesday in particular. Now, by the time we get to the end of the week, signs are that the low pressure, yes, still dominant, still cyclonic with more of a westerly, but you can see that the wettest conditions are becoming a little more confined to the north. Otis, notice also the, the chance has dropped off a little bit. We're over a week away. And by the time we get to Friday, again, the most likely uh, pressure pattern actually has low pressure further away to the north and signs perhaps of a ridge of high pressure trying to build in from the south. So hints uh, that perhaps something a bit dry could develop uh, across southern areas in particular through the back end of next week. But overall, next week looking pretty changeable to say the least. The winds continuing to dominate from the west or the southwest. 
which will keep things reasonably mild, but also keeping things uh, fairly wet, especially so in Western areas. Complete contrast to the largely easterly conditions we've had for much of spring. And that hint, which is all it is at this stage of something a bit drier in the south to end the week. As always, for those day-to-day -day details, you want to be keeping up to date with everything from the Met Office. So you want to be subscribed to our YouTube channel and making sure you're following us right across social media.